Hi guys, welcome to my second video of my editing tutorials. Um, in this one, we're going to cover gunshots, screen pumps, and a plugin effect called S underscore shake. Most editors use S shake in their edits, and you'll see why. So, in the last video, we completely synced this hijacked clip. So, what we'll do for a start is add the gunshots. So it's, and I'm going to show you how you can alter the sounds as well. So I'm going to import my gunshots. I've got loads of gunshots that I can use. Um, so I'm going to go to my uh, editing packs, Cold War snipers. Here I've got all these. I'll leave, <coughs> I'll leave these in a drive so you guys can install those. So this is the Tundra. So I'm going to just simply import the Tundra gun effect. And I'm going to drag it down here. And that's it. All right. So we've got the Tanja sound, so I'll just let it play. Now as you can see, it's a bit hard to hear the sniper. So if you want the gunshot to be louder, what I normally do is the audio track down here, put it to 12, okay? As you can see, it's much easier to hear the, the um, shot now. Alright. But that might be too loud. So if it is too loud, you can drag down from the top and adjust the noise. So I think minus eight would be good. Maybe minus six, just to play around with it. That sounds fine to me. Now, if you want to mess with the sounds of the sniper, so if you want to make the pitch deeper or something like that, click the plugins option here. And the one, the plugin you want to choose is called Pitch Shift. So click on that, click Add, and click OK. That brings up a box, and then you can just play around with the pitch. You don't really want to go my, more than minus 10. So just play around and just... What I'll do for the purpose of demonstrating this, I'm just going to turn the song down. So listen to this clip. This is the raw clip with no plugin. So it's set to zero, and this is what the sound, this is what the sniper sounds like. So that's it. So what we can do with a pitch shift, we can make it like minus eight and now listen. So as you can see, it sort of sounds a bit better when it's minus eight, but just play around. And it really depends what sort of song you're using. Another plugin I use for guns is called Smooth Slash Enhance. So you can add that and it just sort of muffles the noise. So if I put it to minus five, gives it a bassy underwater kind of sound. And then if I put it to three, it'll still be an un underwater kind of sound, but not as strong. So those are the two plugins you wanna play around with, all right? So I'm gonna take that effect off. I don't need the smooth and fun enhance. I'll make this about minus four. And that's fine. So what you need to do now is just right click the shot and paste it on every shot. So just go through your, your sync and paste it. So we've got a shot here, right click, paste. Got a shot here, right click, paste. So if I now play it, the gunshot should be in there. Although this is a Barrett. So um, what I need to do is quickly, I'm just going to put my Barrett sound in. So I'm going to import that into the edit. As I said, these will all be in the description if you need the sniper sounds, alright? So I'm going to drag it down. That's a bit loud, so I can drag that down. It's a bit better. Alright, so I'm going to turn the music up. And I'm just going to paste my Barrett sounds in. There we are. There we are. So let's listen to this. As you can see, I've missed a shot here. So I'm just going to drag that down so I can squeeze it in and paste it. Drag that down. And now that shot should be there. It's all there now. So that's the audio. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'll leave it to you guys to play around with, with the settings. It really depends what sort of song you're using. Um, and yeah, just have fun with that and experiment. So this is how to do the screen pumps and S-Shake. To use S-Shake, you need to download a plugin called Sapphire. 
So just download Sapphire for Sony Vegas. There's loads of tutorials on YouTube on how to get it for free. So follow one of those or obviously buy it if you'd prefer that just to get the plugin. So what we'll do, every single sync, every single snippet is gonna have a screen shake and also uh, a, it's gonna zoom in and out with the music. So this is how I do it. So for the first one, you just click on the crop icon, which is here. Where it says maintain aspect ratio, always set that to no, guys. Always set it to no. Now as you can see, we've got a square here and um, you can drag it from each corner. So what you do, you just zoom in slightly like that, all right? And then you drag to the timeline, you drag to the end, you right click on it and click restore. Now we'll go frame by frame. As you can see, the box zooms out and out and out. And um, that's it guys, that's literally it. So we'll do it for the next snippet. Boom, right, click that to no, zoom it in slightly, go to the end. Right click, restore. Do it for this one. So that's no, zoom in slightly, drag to the end, restore. And just do that for every single snippet, okay? <coughs> so I'm gonna play it now. So look at the kill feed. You can see it's going in and out with the music. Just look at the kill feed and the map for reference point. Okay. So you can obviously see that's going in and out. Now we're gonna do the S shake. So what you need to do is click on the plugins option. You need to find S shake. I'm so used to adding it, I just know how to find it with the keyboard. But if you need to scroll through, scroll through. S shake, highlight it, click on add, click OK. Now this has added S shake to the clip. As you can see, the screen is shaking all over the place. So we just need to tune it to our liking. So Amplitude, normally you want it about 300, so you can copy these settings. Frequency, I'd say about 2.5 is fine. And what you need to do is click on where it says Tilt Shake. Click on that and uh, just drag this out a little bit. Maybe set it to about 20. And let's see what that looks like. So as you can see, it's shaking. And what you can do, you can play around with the phase. So I don't know, I don't really know what the phase does, but if you you could every single different number you choose, the S shake turns out slightly different. So that looks kind of cool. So if you just copy these settings, so amplitude about 0 0.300, frequency I'd say about two to three. You don't want to go any higher than three. Frequency is just how much it shakes. So if I set it to like 30, you can see the screen's going crazy. It's, the frequency is crazy. All right, if I set it to about what we had it on, about two, you can see it's not as shaky, it's much smoother. Now, what you need to do, guys, is highlight these two. So click on these circles here where it says animate. This brings up a timeline. You go to the end of the timeline, and then you put the figures to basically zero. Something like that. You can set them to 0 or 0 0.08, 0 0.30. Just make sure they're really low. Now, if you keep an eye on these numbers, I'm going to go along the timeline. As you can see, the numbers are going down slowly. So it's just making... And that's basically a shake, guys. What you can do, you can play around with the settings. It's really up to you, okay? But this is just a reference video. Of, um, what you want it like. If you find a really nice preset and you're happy with how it looks... You, where it says preset up here, you can name it to whatever you want and you can click save and that will save your settings, okay? So the important part is clicking these animate buttons and then going to the end and setting it to zero. And now if I play this clip, I'm just going to play it in a loop. If you look at the kill feed and map, this is how the S-shake looks. So that's pretty nice. Now we can apply it to the next snippet. So click on the effects icon, click on S shake, click on add, click on OK. Now we've already saved the preset, so we don't have to faff around with the settings. So click on your, find your preset. So my one, the one I just made is here, it's called S shake. Click on these two circles, go to the end of the timeline, drag these down to nearly zero or zero. And that's it, and then we'll go to the next snippet Find the S shake, 
add OK. Select the preset because we've got it saved. Click the two circles, drag the timeline to the end, put these to near enough zero, and just do that for every single snippet. So we're going to play these three that we've just done. So that's very nice. Now, the problem is every single S shake is the exact same. So it's going to get repetitive because it's the same pattern every single time. So what you want to do, as you can see, I've got loads of presets. I've got ones that tilt to the right. I've got ones that tilt to the left. So just make a bunch of different S shake presets. So don't, and basically don't use the same one every time. So for example, on this next one, I'm gonna add S shake, okay. And I've got one that tilts to the right. So I've named it right because as you can see, it tilts to the right, because that's how I've tuned it. And the way I've done that is through the tilt shakes. So just mess around with these settings, guys. It's really up to you. I'm not gonna give away my settings. <laughs> Uh, click the two circles, drag to the end, drag these to near enough zero, and then you could do it on the next one. So add it, add the S shake, add OK. I've got one that tilts to the left. Click the two zeros, as you can see, tilts to the left because I tuned it that way, and that's it. And now I'm going to play it. As you can see, it's really coming along now, guys. It's really coming along. On this one, I forgot to do the screen pump. So set that to no, zoom it in slightly, drag it to the end, restore. That's the screen pump done. Because these are the exact same speed, guys. You can copy and paste absolutely everything. So I've copied that. I could do it on this one as well, because it's normal speed. So paste that, and it pastes the settings. So you don't have to keep adding S shake manually sometimes, you can just copy and paste instead. On this one we'll have to do it manually because I'm not sure what the speed is. So add the screen pump, set that to no, zoom it in slightly, drag to the end, right click, restore, click on the presets, find S shake, add OK, and choose whatever one you want. Click on the two circles, drag to the end, set this to near enough zero, and then we're done. I think these are the same speed here. I'm not sure. I'm going to do it manually just to be safe. So add the screen pump, set that to no, zoom in slightly to the end, right click, restore. Click on the icon there, add the S shake, add whatever preset you want to add. Click the two circles, drag to the end, near enough zero. Now, guys. That's basically it. I'm just going to copy, paste the effects onto that one as well. And that's it. That's a full clip with screen pumps and S shakes. I'm going to play it through. As you can see, it's coming along really nicely, guys. So in the next video, I'm going to cover magic bullet looks and RSMB and some other pl uh, plugins for the color correction. As you can see, it's really bland at the moment. That is because there's no color correction. So that'll be covered in the next video. So if you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful, post a comment and a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just post them below and I'll get back to you straight away. Thanks for watching.